Hello, and welcome to this presentation on the VVX400 series phone. This presentation will cover the basics of the phone, including the physical layout, important screens, and common functions such as transfers or conference calls. Here is a basic physical layout of the device. Over here we have our home button, which will allow us to access settings, directories, and other menus. And this button is accessible and usable no matter which function of the phone you are using. So if you ever get turned around or lost while using the phone, you can always hit this home button until you find the screen that you're looking for. Just below that we have our navigation keys. These are used to move around the menus on the screen. Uh, we have our up, left, down, and right buttons. And the center button is a activation button which allows you to select whatever is highlighted on the screen at that time. Up here we have our lines keys. These are used uh, when looking at contacts, directories, uh, or your favorites. And they're associated with the phone lines on the screen. So if you tap that button, you'll be able to interact with that phone line that you have highlighted. Down here, we have our handset and speakerphone buttons, which allow you to start and end calls in those modes. Towards the bottom of the phone, we have our mute and volume buttons, and those are fairly self-explanatory. Over here on our left, we have our transfer button, which is symbolized by two handsets uh, connected by an arrow. This is our voicemail button. You can access your messages and set your greetings by pressing this button. You can also dial star 98 to access the same information. The last physical button we have here is our hold button, shown by a phone handset with a little pause symbol. Up here, right below the screen, we have our soft keys. The, the labels associated with these keys will change depending on the function of the phone at that time. Here's what your screen will look like in default mode. Over here on our upper left, you can see that there are phone lines. If you have more than one phone line or extension assigned to your phone, you'll see them over there in that section. These will be connected to those line keys, which I just mentioned. On the right side, or in the remaining spaces, we have favorites, which can be set up in your contacts folder in the settings. Now across the bottom, our soft keys now have new labels, new call, forward, DND, and pickup. This DND button is a do not disturb mode. It will send all your callers directly to voicemail. When you start dialing the call, you'll see a screen that looks like this. You can enter in three or four digit extensions, but you'll have to hit this dial soft key down here towards the bottom. That 10 digit number should automatically dial. Once you're actually connected, you'll see an active call screen, which looks like this. The active caller information is displayed in a pop-up box in the middle. Our soft keys have now changed once more time. This first soft key is our hold button. You can put a caller on hold by pressing the soft key or using the physical button, which I mentioned earlier. Next, we have the end call button, and that's pretty obvious. You can also, of course, end a call by hanging up your handset. This button, here, soft key here, is our transfer button. You can do two types of transfers. The first type I'll explain is an attended transfer. This is a transfer where you wish to speak to the receiving party ahead of time, give them a little bit more information before completing the transfer. To do that, you would hit the transfer soft key or the physical button, which I showed you in that first set of slides. You would then enter in the number you wish to transfer the call to. If the other person is available and picks up, you can speak to them, give them more information as you see fit. Once they are ready, You'll hit the transfer soft key or physical button one more time and that will complete the transfer. You can also do a blind transfer. A blind transfer is one where you send the call to the receiving party, but you aren't going to confirm if the person is there and ready to take the call. This is useful if the call that you're sending wishes to leave a voicemail or the person receiving the call is ready to take the call and is expecting it. It starts much in the same way as intended transfer. You hit the transfer soft key or physical button. You then hit the blind key on the next screen, however, which will switch it to blind mode. You can then enter in the number or extension you're connecting to. And once you dial it, that
transfer is out of your hands. It will be sent off to that number and you can hang up the phone. We have this more button on our active call screen, which if we tap that, will give us more options in our soft key row. The first option on this second screen is our conference call button. You can host three-way conferencing on your phone. To start this, you would hit this conference soft key. You can then dial the number or extension of the party you wish to connect with. If you're on an existing call, that caller will be put on hold. You're then allowed to speak and confirm that the third party is available for a conference. And once you're ready to join all parties, hit this conference soft key one more time. This is what a conference call screen will look like. Of note is this option towards the bottom called split. This will allow you to put both callers on hold separately if you wish to speak or interact with them on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Coming back to this active call screen, we have our park button. This park feature allows you to put a call and hold on your network in such a way that anyone on your network can pick up the call. To start the process, you'll hit this park soft key or you can dial star 22. You will then want to take special note of the park ID number that is announced. An automated voice will tell you a message such as parked on one. Take note of that number. To pick up the parked call from any phone on your network, hit this pickup button, which is on your default screen, or you can dial star 23. You will then enter in the park ID number and you will be connected to that parked call. I should note one more thing. We have that line soft key. Hitting that button will allow you to access uh, your default screen if you wish to select another line or access information about other callers on your favorites list. So hitting that lines key will bring you to your default screen, uh, but it's not commonly used. All right, so those are the basics of using your VVX 400 series phone. I will make available a short quick guide which will go over the basics I covered here today, and as well, a full guide which will go allow you to look into great detail about all the wonderful features of this phone. I thank you for your time and attention today.